All right, everyone, this is Justin Williams Savoy, and what I'm looking at today is an abridgment of the secret doc doctrine, H.P. Blavatsky, or Madame Blavatsky, edited by Elizabeth Preston and Christmas Humphreys. So you may be familiar with Christmas Humphreys. He wrote a book on Buddhism. You should read it. Um, he was uh, part of uh, Buddhist society, I believe, or uh, formed the Buddhist society or something of that nature. Let me see. He founded a Buddhist society in London, according to the back of this book here. So um, I picked this book up at a used local bookstore recently. Um, I used, used to have a bunch of um, Madame Bovlatsky's books. I had quite the collection of anthroposophic stuff, um, stuff that's theosophy, um, mysticism, just kind of um, a little bit offbeat, you know? It's kind of those things like chewing the meat and spit out the bones. Um, so, anyways, um, I'm interested in this stuff. So, this abridgment of the secret doctrine contains... Um, all the major concepts of the original work without the more elaborate commentaries, which might at the outset prove distracting to the Western reader. Drawing upon a truly remarkable variety of rate, little known sources, plus a broad spectrum of world-famous seekers after truth, HPB's secret doctrine is surely unique in all of literature. The author has achieved a remarkable synthesis of wisdom, as it has come down through the ages. The editor are the longtime students of the Secret Doctrine and Christmas Humphreys, who founded the Buddhist Society in London and has written a num numerous books on Buddhism. Elizabeth Preston was a scientist and author of several works on theosophy. So I, like I said, I also read anthroposophic literature and stuff. I have some stuff on um, Steiner that you might be interested in. Um, I was looking for books in particular by... Um, Ospinsky, uh, Gertjeef, um, what else was I looking for? Um, stuff by Crawley, possibly. Um, so just kind of where my interests are at currently, amongst many other things. I have a plethora of interests. And so, anyways, I just picked this up. I watched a documentary about her recently, and I thought I'd take a look. I've owned books in the past by her. Um, then a large portion of my library is lost to me, so I'm just kind of building up um, stuff as I go. The Theosophical Publishing House, uh, 1966. And get the camera to adjust. Table of Contents, Editorial Forward to the Abridgment, H.P. Pavlatsky, A Brief Biography. The Genesis of the Secret Doctrine, Preface, Introductory Part. Uh, poem part, stanza one, the night of the universe, stanza two, the idea of differentiation, stanza three, the awakening of the cosmos, stanza four, the septenary hierarchies, stanza five, Fohat, the child of the septenary hierarchies, our world, its growth and development, theosophical misconceptions, explanation concerning the globes, and the monads, the parents of man on earth, uh, summoning up, the evolution of symbolism, symbolism and ideographs, the mystery of language and its keys, primordial substance and divine thought, chaos, theos, cosmos, the hidden deity, symbols and glyphs, the mundane egg, the days and nights of Brahma, the lotus as a universal symbol, Deus lunis, Tree and Serpent and Crocodile Worship, Demon S. Deuce and Versus, The Theogony of the Creative Gods, The Seven Creations, The Four Elements, On Quan, Shai, Yin, and Quan Yin, Science and the Secret Doctrine Contrasted, Reasons for These Addenda, Modern Psychiatrist, psychiatrist or no, Modern, uh, sorry, <laughs> Modern, uh, Physicists are playing at Blind Man's Buff, and Lumen's Corpus Nec Non is Gravitation a Law, the Theories of Rotation in Science, the Mask of Science, an Attack on the Scientific Theory of Force by a Man of Science, Life Force or gravi Gravity, the Solar Theory, the Coming Force on the Elements and Atoms, 
ancient thought on modern dress, the modern nebular theory, forces, modes of motion or intelligences, gods, monads, and atoms, cyclic evolution and karma, the zodiac and its antiquity, summary of the mutual, mutual position, volume second, anthropogenesis. Preliminary notes, stanza one, beginnings of sentient life, stanza two, the nature unaided fails. The chronology of the Brahmins, stanza three, attempts to create man, stanza four, creation of the first races, stanza five, the evolution of the second race, stanza six, the evolution of the sweetborn, sweatborn, sorry, stanza seven, from the semi-divine down to the first human races, stanza eight, evolution of the animal um, mammalian to the first fall, what may be the objection to the foregoing? Stanza 9, the final evolution of man. Eden, serpents and dragons, omitted. The sons of God on the sacred island, omitted. The history of the fourth race. Archaic teachings of the Purana, Puranas and Genesis. A paranormic view of the early races. Stanza 10 continued. Uh, our Giants Fiction, which is a topic of great interest to mine, uh, to me, most people that know me know I'm obsessed with Giants, fee fi fo fum the harmonics of the blood, and what not, and I'm very, very obsessed, actually, with um, Giants, although I do not do a lot of reading about them recently, the Giants, the Titans, all those things are fascinating to me, um, Gog, the King of Bashan, and what's not. The races with the third eye, the prime evil manus on humanity, even the epic of Gilgamesh, might I add. Stanza 11, the civilization and the destruction of the third and fourth races, Cyclopean ruins, or you could say Cyclopean, whatever way you'd like to say it, um, ruins and colossal stones as witness to the giants. Stanza 12, the fifth race and its divine instructors, Western speculations founded on the Greek and Puranic traditions. Additional fragments from commentary on the verses of stanzas. Conclusion, the whole as a part two and three have been omitted. Select bibliography in the books of H.P. Pavlatsky and the Secret Doctrine. So, And then the index. And a little note on that, um, pronouncing Cyclope or Cyclops, Cyclopean or Cyclopean. Um, I read, and as I studied literature at university, uh, books that had proper um, Greek transliterations into English, and some of those pronunciations were um, fascinating. So, and here's the index, all kinds of great stuff. Um, so, Buddhism, Buddha, astral man, astral plane, astrological star, Aryans, archangels, animal man, anthropoids, Akasa, Adai Buddha. Um, Adamic race, adepts, Abram, Adam, sacred animals, Satan, satyrs. So this should be a very interesting read, Karma. I don't know when I'll get around to this because there's so many things that I'm interested in reading right now and um, investing my time in. However, I wanted to make a very quick video to show you guys this re recent pickup from a used bookstore. I'll be uploading more um, recent book finds of mine um, very, very soon. I have a Goethe treasury I found, um, answers and questions about Sufism. Um, Asian journal Thomas Merton, you guys may know that I, Merton was kind of fundamental in some of the formation of my thought, but not all. Um, however, I'll, I'd love to take a look through that. Um, oftentimes, it's a good springboard to look at Merton and go off into other books and literature that he quotes or talks about. Sometimes it's really good to do that with a lot of different authors. I've done that with Alan Watts, who I don't particularly um, love his works by any means, but I do like to consider some of the literary works that he mentions in his autobiography and things of that nature. So I'll be talking about more books in the future with you all. I hope you enjoyed this quick look um, at Abridgment of the Secret Doctrine of H.P. Blavatsky, i.e. Madame Blavatsky. This is Justin William Savoy. I hope you are well wherever you're at. Look forward to uploading more content for you all. Peace.